Mr. Natal, I've been waiting for you. Come in. It's quite cold in here. I'll make you some tea. I know you're expecting my aunt to receive you, but unfortunately she couldn't be here today. That is unfortunate. Yes, but in the meantime, you must try and put up with me. <laughs> it is really quiet. Are you working the rest of the rooms? Business hasn't been good since the great tragedy. What great tragedy? Your aunt didn't tell me anything. She probably didn't want to bother you. Oh, right. So, a few months ago, a couple stayed here. They came to try to recover their marriage. She was deeply depressed and he was having an affair with her breast friend. Very dramatic and scandalous. One morning, he said he was going to hunt in the woods to clear his head. Two hours passed by and I heard a scream coming from their room. The woman ran down the stairs in her nightgown and ran into the woods. A few seconds later, I heard a bang, bang. She killed him and then shot her brains out. It's a great tragedy. That is really a tragedy. When someone decides to kill- Maybe that's when hope consumes you. I don't understand. Maybe she was hoping that once the soul left his body, he would go to hell to suffer for all eternity. And she, she would be waving from heaven with the gun still in her hand and blood on her dress. But nothing is the way we expect it to be. What a picture. Don't you agree, Mr. Natal? Yes, a very morbid picture. I believe it's just a Catholic way of looking at things. That's why I leave this window open. So the poor souls can return to this peaceful place and remember their love. Miss Vera, it seems that I have forgotten something. What did you forget, Mr. Natal? Mm -hmm. It seems to me that you forgot your Ritalin. My Ritalin? Yes, it seems that your memory is not working right, so I just assume you forgot your Ritalin to help with that head of yours. That is exactly what I forgot. Would you excuse me? Don't take too long, Mr. Natal. I have more stories to tell you before my aunt comes back. <laughs> 